hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be seeing cognizant gen c latest interview coach experience basically in this video i have taken the experience of a candidate who has recently appeared for cognizant gen c interview and they have shared the actual questions and answer that were asked to them in their interview so make sure that you prepare well from these questions because there is very high chances that if you are also going to appear for your cognizant gen c interview you will get the exact same questions in your interview also so without wasting any time let's get started with today's video but before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really will be helpful for you so that whenever i post any upcoming videos you will get a notification and guys i have already shared a lot of other interview experiences for gen c make sure to check that too you can see gen c next and pro gen c uh, latest interview experience tech plus hr make sure to check all those videos it's, it will be very helpful for you guys i just want one thing from you if you're finding it helpful please write the review helpful so that i get to know how many of you are preparing for it and i can post more interview experiences for you so let's get started with first question let's look at this question that we have the question is starting basically with initially the behavioral questions were asked behavioral you can say related to hr round questions okay uh, so whenever you enter your interview the first question that you will be asked will be tell me about yourself so we have taken a basic answer okay just in case if you don't have a template ready with you you can also say this one but i would highly suggest you to prepare one good introduction for yourself okay let's see the answer that we have here hello my name is and you have, then you have to tell your name i recently graduated with a degree in so whatever uh, like you know branch you have or like whatever branch you have completed your bachelor's or something you have to tell that and have a strong foundation in programming, data structures, and web development. I have worked on projects using technologies like React.js, Node.js, and SQL. Apart from technical skills, I enjoy problem solving and collaborating in team environments. I am eager to join Cognizant because of its strong focus on innovation and career growth. So guys, whenever you prepare your introduction, there are a few things that you should always note down. First, you have to speak uh, like about your educational details, educational details, skill set, if possible you have to speak about your project okay so these are some mandatory thing okay because with this you are setting the tone of your interview going ahead because whatever the skill sets and things that you mentioned during your introduction based on that only you will be getting your questions ahead okay let's move on to the next question why do you want to join cognizant so for this the answer can be cognizant data is a well established it company with a strong presence in digital transformation and cloud solutions the company offers excellent learning opportunities and exposure to diverse technologies. I am excited about the chance to contribute to the real world projects while growing professionally in a dynamic environment. So in this way, like uh, what you can do is you can even do the basic research about the company and you can see what uh, companies majorly dealing with these days. Like you can say about artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, because these are some of the trending technologies and trending uh, focuses of all the major MNCs. So in this way, you can prepare your answers. Moving on. How do you handle deadlines? Okay, let's see how can we answer this question. I prioritize tasks based on urgency and complexity. I break down projects into smaller milestones and set realistic deadlines. If challenges arise, I communicate effectively with my team and adapt my approach to meet deadlines without compromising the quality of work. So in this way, you have to politely answer the questions, whatever that is being asked to you. Moving on to the next one. The question is, what are the qualities of a good leader? So now, you know, I, that's why I told you, these are like behavioral questions. So you have to be ready with it. Okay. And if you think that I can answer on the go, it is very unlikely you will stammer a lot. That is why it is very important to prepare beforehand before your interviews. Let's see the answer for this question. A good leader should be communicative, adaptable and problem solver. They should support their team, make informed decisions and motivate members to achieve common goals. Leadership is not just about authority, but also about collaboration and mentorship. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Now we are moving to the next set of questions which are based on object oriented programming or OOPS. And I have already spoken a lot in my previous videos that OOPS is one of the major topics when it comes to interviews. Like it is kind of guaranteed only that you will get few questions from OOPS. So if you have no time to prepare, I would highly suggest you that prepare OOPS. Okay, because that is the most important topic that you should prepare because you will get definite questions from that. Let's see the question that is asked now. 
what is a constructor so let's see the answer for this one a constructor is a special method in a class that gets called automatically when an object is created it is used to initialize the class properties for example in java how a constructor is created i have taken a basic example but chances are very less that they will ask you an example uh, to give an example of a constructor if you want from your end you can give an example but this is how you can answer okay moving on what is garbage collection okay let's see the answer for this question now you know guys uh, there can be different things like for example if you are giving your interview and if you are giving your interview on a cluster basis so they can ask you the question like same question can be asked in different ways what is garbage collection in java what what is garbage collection in c++ so you have to understand that the concept of garbage collection always remains same so if they ask you what is garbage collection in java so you have to start your answer in this way that in java garbage collection is okay so you have to understand that don't just get panic just by listening to the language okay you have to focus on the concept of the question okay let's see the answer for this question garbage collection is the process of automatically deallocating memory that is no longer in use in java java virtual machine or jvm handles the garbage collection using algorithms like mark and sweep to free up the memory so basically the main important thing is what is garbage collection so garbage collection is nothing but the process of automatically deallocating the memory once it is no longer in use okay because if we keep on filling up the memory it will uh, slow the performance of our system moving on to the next question explain inheritance with example again as i told you oops is one of the major concept and all these questions that we are seeing are on oops only inheritance allows a class to inherit properties and methods from another class example the here we have for an uh, for inheritance okay so we have two classes first is class animal which is kind of a uh, parent class and then what we are printing here is animal makes a sound okay and the, here is the function which is getting called that is make sound next up we have created another function which is not another function but another class which is dog and this dog is getting uh, inheriting animal class okay and here we have the function bark which is printing out dog barks so this is basic concept of inheritance where uh, where basically it allows that a child class can inherit the properties and methods of its parents class moving on the next question is what is the order of constructor calls in inheritance okay let's see the answer for this question in inheritance the parent class constructor is always called first before the child class constructor here we have the example we have class parent and then we have class child which extends parent okay and in parent class we have a parent method and then which is printing parent constructor and in child class we have uh, the statement uh, which is getting invoked by a child method and the statement is child constructor so the output will be initially parent constructor will be printed and then uh, child constructor will be printed this shows that the parent class constructor is always called first before the child constructor I hope you have understood it. Guys, if you have any doubts in any of the questions, you can put it in the comment section. And please do let me know your reviews about these questions. How are you feeling them? And if you want any modifications in the videos or not. Let's see the next question that we have. So guys, we have seen now the OOPS based question. Now we are moving on to the SQL based questions that are usually asked. Okay. So the first question that we have here is write an SQL query to find the nth highest salary. The answer for this is basically simple. Which This is just one query that you have to write. The answer will be select distinct salary from employees order by salary in descending order and we have to limit one offset n minus one okay so in this way you can uh, find the uh, nth highest salary okay moving on what is a join in sql okay so let's see the answer for this question a join is used to combine data from two or more tables based on the related column example is inner join between employees and departments so we here we have the query select employees dot name departments dot department name from employees table inner join departments on employees dot department id which is equals to impart uh, departments dot id okay so here we have taken an example also for joins and we have, we have also spoken about what is join moving on how to create a table with constraints so here we have taken a query for creating a table with constraints let's see create table students okay this is the table name id int primary key name where not null and age int check and then we have mentioned age should be greater than 18 okay so in this way you can create a table with constraints by giving the constraints moving on now some questions on database management system let's see that first one is what are acid properties in dbms okay so 
you can answer it in this way now guys you have to focus that you do not have to give very lengthy answers because see in interview you will be asked many questions okay and you won't have much time if you focus on answering one question in detail then the interviewer might get short of time and they won't ask much questions but then they expect you to answer every question in very detail so you just have to give like two to three sentence or 20 to 30 seconds of answer for each question and if they want you to speak more on that they will let you know okay so let's see what is the answer for this question which is what are acid properties in dbms acid basically acid stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability in the discharge database transactions are processed reliably okay moving on to the second question which is why is dbms better than a file system the answer for this question will be dbms provides data integrity security and beta, better data management compared to traditional file storage system basically these are also called as the features of dbms and you should definitely know this because you can use these you know features of dbms in different answers of yours based on like whatever different questions that you guessed based on dbms you can use these features okay so always remember these things that is data integrity security and data management moving on to the next question now now we have seen a lot of questions based on oops dbms uh, behavioral sections now some questions based on project based questions will also come and that is for sure you will get okay let's see what are the questions and how can you answer them first is how, explain your project okay a very high level question you have to explain your project you have to tell them what is a project about and what your contribution is in that project let's see the answer for it i have taken one base, very basic sample answer but i will highly suggest you that you prepare your answers according to your project the answer will be my project was built using react js and node js it was a and then you have to tell your project name that helps user what is the functionality that is implemented in that project and what is the goal of that project i implemented features such as whatever your features were there you can mention that i was it was designed with a responsive ui and optimized api calls now i'll give you some examples now uh, you can say like you know for example if you have created a website okay any website like you know shopping site so you can say it was a shopping site that helped users for uh, for like you know putting their uh, orders online and uh, it was serving the functionality of e-commerce website we had implemented api calling and front end i have set it up and if your project was a team one then you can tell that the project was created as a part of team but I, in my role in that project was so and so so in this way you can mention otherwise if you have created your project individually then also you can explain accordingly I hope now you have understood it. Let's now move on to the next question. Now see, based on what you have told in your introduction and in your project, then you will get further questions now. See, as the candidate told that uh, they have created the project based on front end and they have used technologies like React. Now they are getting questions based on React. So make sure that you are very uh, attentively answering all the things because you can get cross questions or you can get your further questions based on the introduction or uh, like a skill set that you mentioned. The question is, what are the key features of react js so the answer for this can be now you have to mention different features of react js the answers can be component based architecture virtual dom for performance optimization unidirectional data flow and hooks for state management so these are some of the features of react js moving on to the next one why react js over other frameworks so now why if you have used a particular thing in your project right not just with react js they can ask you this question for different technologies also so you should know that why you have used this and not something else right so you should have answer for these types of questions also let's see the answer react js is preferred because of its component based approach faster rendering with virtual dom and a strong community support compared to angular react is lightweight and easier to learn and you can also say that with the requirements that i had in hand react sees seems much uh, better and the learning curve with react was also a bit slightly lesser than angular so in this way you can prepare your answer according to your case and then you can say but the main goal is that i want to tell you that what types of questions are being asked so that you can prepare for those types of questions beforehand right otherwise when you will sit for the interviews you might think that okay this is a very new question i don't even have the answer for that i don't want all of you to be in that situation let's see the next question that we have here what is deep call in javascript so the answer for this will be a deep call refers to a function calling another function fun multiple layers deep often seen in recursion or nested function calls a deep basically it is just a fancy jargon that we have here deep call it is nothing it is just uh, like a recursion based approach or like you know a function calling another function uh, within multiple layers right so moving on to the next question now okay so guys we have seen a lot of questions now i have now some few final tips for all the candidates who are going to attempt your cognizant interview for different different roles i know it can be either gen c gen c next or gen c pro okay some important tips are you have to prepare your 
answers beforehand and if required you can also use star methodology i'll tell you what a star methodology is first you see whenever a behavioral question is asked okay like i'll give you one example you can get this question that if there is a conflict in your team how will you manage it so you have to answer these types of question with uh, like not have to but you can okay i'm just giving you a suggestion you don't have to always follow star method in uh, like in this interview at least see what you can do is you can create a situation okay like this was the situation a real time kind of situation now that does not mean that it has to happen in real time it can be a made up story but you are telling it as a as like it was happened in re real time okay so you have to basically tell a situation that this and this happened and what was the task that was uh, that i need to achieve what was the action that i took in, in order to achieve that task and then what was the result i got okay so in this way in a story based approach you have to tell your answers behavioral answers basically so that is what you, for that you can use star methods okay uh, otherwise whatever answers we have discussed that were also good next up some important topics that you should revise and practice before your gen c interviews is you should practice oops okay i have already posted a video make sure to check that if you haven't checked it yet on my channel make sure to prepare sql well and also practice basic queries based questions also as you can see i have already pre created a lot of interview experiences you will find all the queries questions that are generally being asked next up you should practice basic dbms also because uh, dbms questions are also being asked basically whatever you have studied in your graduation those things at least you should know be confident while explaining your project and not just explaining your project but in during your entire interview you have to be confident and keep a smiling face because see sometimes you know their focus is not that much on your technical answers they are also seeing your body language how much confident you are because you see if you are if you are confident then you can consider that your 60% work is done okay they will mostly select you if you are confident and if you are answering properly and if your communication is good you are not stammering a lot and that is only the reason for these types of things to make to improve those things you have to practice a lot before attempting your interviews okay and also if possible please practice your cluster okay because you know there might be cases that see you are very proficient in java and c++ but you have got cluster number 3 which was c sharp so you cannot totally ignore, ignore cluster 3 okay because they can ask you questions based on cluster 3 also in your interview so in this way like you have to practice basic questions about your cluster also that should be also done otherwise uh, you might not uh, you might you, you might not be able to answer when they ask you cluster based questions so yeah these were some of the important tips from my end so guys that's all for today's video i hope you found it helpful and if you do please give it a like if you have any more doubts please drop them in the comment section you can also join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well you can ask your queries over instagram dm too make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates on notification whenever i upload a new video that's all for this video thanks for watching the video